Right. All right. Let me, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. In a relationship, let me ask you a better question. Who needs to like the other more for the relationship to work? The man. Does the woman need to like the man more than he likes her? No. Or does the man need to like the yes. girl more than she likes him for the relationship to work? Yes. The woman. So, oh, no, 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 no. I, I need you guys man. all to be quiet for two seconds. Use your brain, not your heart. Think logically for two seconds, all right? Ask yourself, what is more likely for the relationship to last? Okay? I don't give a fuck about what you want. I don't care what you think. I want, I want you to objectively think here. No feelings. I want y'all to say, okay, what's going to make the relationship last more? If I like the man or the man likes the woman more? The man we'll likes here. the woman. Hold on. Go ahead. Um, fuck. Um, um, so I think it, both, it goes both ways, but I think- um, One party always has to like each other more. Okay, a man. The man, likes to, the man needs to like the woman more? Yeah. Interesting. What about you? The man. The man has to keep chasing the woman. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Okay, what about you? The man, because the woman will eventually like him more. Okay. What about you? I think the man, because women by nature, we always put up with stuff and we are fighters. Really? We're fighters and we always like are writers. Like men. Interesting. What about you? Who the needs man. to like the man needs to like the woman more? I agree. All right. The man has to like the woman more. Okay. I think in terms of longevity, like the woman probably needs to like the man more. But why? Women put up with a lot more shit. Okay. Women put up with a lot more shit, but for a relationship to be healthy, I think the man needs to like the woman a little bit more than she likes him. Interesting. What about you? The man. The man? Okay. Who initiates most breakups in a relationship, men or women? Mm, I guess women. I couldn't tell you. You don't know? What about you? <laughs> I can't tell you neither. Yeah. That, that's where this comes from. Women. Women initiate more breakups? Okay. Mm, I think women, maybe. Okay. What about you? Oh, no. What about you? Oh, women. Women initiate more breakups? Okay. Women. Okay. Who gets born in relationships faster, men or women? Women. Men. Bruh. I'm sorry, men. I say both. You Everything think men actually men. get... <laughs> yeah. you really? I really say both. I feel okay. like once you get the prize, you're yeah. on to the Interesting. next. Interesting. Okay, what about you? Who gets born in relationships faster, men or women? Women. I think men. Interesting. Men. Men. I also agree, men. Men. Okay. So, um, you guys are actually wrong. Um, it's women that get born in relationships way faster than men do. There's studies that show this, that women lose interest in relationships faster. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, women overwhelmingly initiate most breakups, like 80, 90% of breakups. Oh, women crazy. initiate. So, <laughs> now that you guys know the stats, right, that women are far likely, more likely to get born in relationships and they initiate most of the breakups, who has to like each other, who has to like the other party more? Women. Still well, feel like if that's men. the case, women. <laughs> the man. If that's the case. Oh. Because if it's ninety percent ratio in the whole world, then it's definitely. I mean, I'm oh, looking the at the U.S. U.S. All right, then. So, like, let's yeah. just use logic here. If we know that women are more likely to get bored in relationships, and we know women are more likely to end relationships, then that means that the girl needs to like the guy more for the relationship to last. Which means the guy needs to work harder. And become you know what? what the prize. Ah. Uh. Come see on. how I end up, I yo, see, see how all roads lead know? back to what I'm telling y'all? Like, it doesn't work when the woman is with a man that she doesn't respect, admire, and want to be with and adore. The woman needs to adore the man more than the man adores the, man, the woman. And I'll tell you why. The person, we talked about this with a psychiatrist, actually, or a psychologist, sorry. When a, The person that adores the other individual more gets more emotionally invested. Who needs emotional stimuli more in a relationship? The woman. The men, we don't give a fuck. We don't need emotional stimuli. Women need that shit mm -mm. to be invested. They absolutely do. No, Women need to feel things. You've alluded to your feelings several times during the course of this podcast about but how guys things made you feel. guys also need reassurance, though. Reassurance is also emotional Re things uh, because uh, I'm in a relationship myself, so it's like you look, can't really tell but, but me. But men don't need emotional stimuli the same way women do. But men, you invest men with do, your money. Men, That's... you do have to show affection and comfort to, like a mother to their child, because you're. But we yeah. don't. But we don't, don't yearn for. Yeah. But we don't need. Uh, the, what you're missing here is that men don't need oh, emotional no, don't stimulation need like as women much do. As women, no. but they still need it. They you still need, need validation. Okay. You guys need cool. validation. You guys love that. All right. That, that's. That, but the thing is, is that women need it more than they men do for the for in terms of keeping a successful relationship. Women need more emotional stimuli than men do. Women need to feel in love more than the man does. So what I'm saying is that the, that means that since we know because look logic just common sense women are more likely to get bored in relationships they're more likely to break up relationships and we know women are more emotional so that means that we need to put the woman in the an emotional state and be the adoree right the, sorry and the man is the adored 
The woman adores the man more than he adores her. That's how the relationship goes because women are more likely to end the relationship. So that means they need to be more satisfied in the relationship. But if you're working to do that to me, then I'm the price. Because you're so working extra hard to do that. No, for sex To only. keep me entertained, for to sex. keep me in love. For sex. Yeah, so yeah. Reality, I think you love. Sex. No, <laughs> it's, no, no, no. It's my that. job. It's my job to get laid. It's your job to get me to lock to lock me down. It's a woman's job to get the guy to, to get show, take her seriously. I don't think it's only yeah, sex, Yeah, but though, the, sex what I'm saying is you're still putting I think in the double whammy. You're working harder to keep me. That means you am the price. Is the basis of your relationships? This is incredible. Yeah. Am I not the price? Okay, so. Because you're working harder to keep me around. No, man, because. Because Girl otherwise game. I would break up with you because you bored me. No, no. And emotionally, you're not there. No, because the man has to be attractive before he even meets you. So you, you, what do you, you're, 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 well, you're past your requirements physical before attraction. you, yeah, like, like we up. can't even get a chance to take you on a date unless we become that guy in the first place. The man, the man has to come pre-assembled. Is that, do you understand? Mm -mm. Like the man, mm -hmm. no, like because hold on. Men <laughs> put on such a facade. <laughs> no. They can have the money. They can have the car. Wait, 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 wait. wait. They, they put on a facade. You said they put on a facade. A facade of what though? Fake flexors. Like, oh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Yeah. But, no, but what, they, what is that yeah, facade of? Woman. Of success, correct? Um, yeah. So whether it's true or not doesn't attention. change the fact that the bottom line is is that he needs to show that he's successful, correct? He needs to show that he's crossed the finish line for you to even give him a chance. So yeah. not only that, but you have that, to have attention and like everything else that we're looking for. But I think they, they, good, they put a good mask on in the beginning because yeah. they're, they're trying to get something. How many guys approach you that you decline? Many, right? Only a few pass the test to go on a date with you. So what he's saying basically in a nutshell is those guys that pass the test had to become successful either in a way from game, status, or even like looks. No. So on some level they pass the test for you or no. for it. No. Right, but I chose them. That means That's the point. Because Everyone else failed the test. the test. But that guy passed the test. Why? He was that guy. Because yeah. No, because Sometimes I just want to meet the initial. Come on, come on, come on, come on Mexico. <laughs> so you fight every guy? I feel like it depends on what? the predicament. No. That's the whole point. It depends on where I you meet the, point, the guy, for real. If you was to meet a guy at a club, like, let's be so for real, you're going to be like, oh, I'm not interested in you. Do you get what I'm saying? It or if you met him on the side of the street and <clears> he <throat> came and spoke to you and spoke to you as any other guy would speak to you, you're not going to be interested. That's I think why it's we the approach. reject majority. It's the approach. It's the approach. No, no, so you on. approach your women if, if you stand if, out. Hold on. If it's the right guy, I will admit, location does matter a little bit, but it doesn't matter. If he's the right guy, yeah. it'll fit no matter what. But I think it's more like chemistry and connection and yeah, the way they approach you because it I is. feel like if it's basic it approach, is. you're like, all right, I've heard this shit before. A hundred times. But like, that can happen anywhere. There's a depends. I think but you I feel just like know. If you're in a race and you're working hard to get to the finish line, then you're getting to the price. So if we have all these suitors and you're working towards the finish line, then who's the price? We are. Because we're the ones that have the ultimate say <laughs> to... You can call I, like yeah. I think men yeah. and women are prizes. Point here? Look, I don't man, pick or the, differentiate. The, the point is, like, no, the reason why the man is surprised is because the man needs to be superior to the woman for the woman to be interested in him. That's a fact. I don't think that women Wait, that lose again? their interest just because he's not the price no more. Because a woman starts getting emotionally attached to a person as long as they... But you're not going to get emotionally no. attached to him unless he's attractive in the first place, right? Of course. 